So you're probably looking for an ADHD friendly calendar app, one that can help you to plan your time, but is aware of the issues that you may face in a typical day. So today we've put together seven of the best ADHD friendly calendar apps on the market, ones that you can use and embrace in your daily routine. Today's video is kindly sponsored by Setup. If you have a Mac or an iOS device, you can access over 260 apps all in one subscription. You can find it linked below, as well as discovering more tools over on Tool Finder. Both will be linked below if you're interested. So what makes these calendar apps uh, friendly options for those with ADHD? Well, they are simplified in their planning style, allowing you to create and manage your schedule in a very visual way. They're also very good at time awareness, allowing you to set up reminders or being very visual when it comes to seeing what's ahead in your schedule and where you are in the day. And finally, they allow you to create structured routines, some also including habits and recurring tasks so that you don't miss things that are part of your daily habits or routines. So there's no order to these, but you can find them all linked below. So the first one on the list is one called Sunsama. And although it's slightly pricier, a lot of people like this for their ADHD because it helps them to be more mindful about their task management. Now, every single day, you like to just throw as many tasks as you need to inside of your routine. And that's good, but it's not always uh, the most effective way to work. You wanna focus on quality tasks, not quantity. So Sinsama helps you by doing that, by giving you guided planning to make sure and hold your hand through the planning process, but also by limiting the amount of tasks or time that you can spend on a tasks across a day. It'll indicate that you are spending too much time on it and give you some helpful reminders or nudges to schedule them for the next day. Now this app isn't uh, the most expensive as I mentioned, it starts at $16 per month, but the application is very popular for that holistic type of planning and those who want to bring in tasks from other apps use a Pomodoro timer in their system and have a more mindful approach to their planning of tasks. So if you're a busy professional, this one will help you with your ADHD, helping you to plan and see your calendar all in one. So number two is Structured. This is a very popular app because it's available on iOS and Android. It's a very beautiful app and it's easy to use. And a lot of people with ADHD like the fact that you can see a visual schedule of your routine. It might add anything from brushing your teeth all the way to um, planning your day ahead and going on a run, anything you like. And it comes in this visual timeline view, allowing you to essentially then go and see where you are on the day and tick things off as you complete them. A lot of all people also like this because in their premium, they've got this AI feature where you can just speak into the app and it will essentially give you these really helpful sort of uh, breakdowns of what you need to do for the day. So you could say like, oh, go to sleep at 8 p.m., wake up at 5 a.m. tomorrow, do this, do that. And it will be essentially organize that for you, taking the administration out of actually planning your day ahead. So incredibly popular ADHD, especially if you've got that, um, that block, that issue with executive functioning that you just wanna break through and try and be able to just uh, get things down and that schedule and routine laid out. So next up is Trello. Now, a couple of years ago, I probably wouldn't have recommended Trello necessarily for ADHD, although a lot of people like the fact that the board stickers and backgrounds make it really fun and engaging to do it and plan your work. But they've just sort of leveled it up for their calendar experience, adding an inbox and a calendar as part of your plan. This means you can actually plot out time on your calendar as well as connecting it with popular calendar services and an inbox for collecting things across a day. So again, Trello is a really interesting one if you already use it. It's just added calendar and inbox, which is great. And again, a very interesting addition for those visual thinkers. Are you tired of looking for the right app? Well, Setup gives you instant access to over 200 160 hand-picked apps for iOS and Mac, all in one place. Whether you need to convert a file, clean your drive, or write that article, just type your task into Setapp and its AI-powered search suggests the perfect app all the time. It's almost as good as having me nearby. Have you got a big goal? And if you have a big goal in mind, you can use Setup's collections feature. This is a curated bundle of tools for a specific goal in mind. A great way to tackle some complex tasks with a bunch of tools that are available in Setup. So each app has user reviews, allowing you to get insight on each of them before you download it, so that you can install each one with confidence. So you can try it today under one subscription, countless possibilities, and that's Setup.
Link will be below. Number four is Morgan. Now Morgan is a little bit pricier as an application, a little bit less pricier than Sansama, but the application itself is a real traditional to-do list app uh, combined with calendar app. It's a planner experience and you'll really like it if you like bringing in tasks from other experiences and bringing them into one. But the reason why I say it's a great ADHD friendly app is because whilst it's a great calendar app and all rounder, it has this feature called smart frames, which allows you to pick periods of time in your day. Like for example, this afternoon, typically might always do admin on a Tuesday afternoon. Well, it's going to help you to use that smart frame to populate tasks that meet that criteria. Taking all of that legwork and that executive functioning in play where you don't want to automatically start doing things, if that makes sense. That blocker is potentially reduced because you've got that uh, population of tasks in your smart frames. And you can build smart frames whatever scenarios you like, and it helps bring in tasks that meet those criteria, which again is a very helpful AI planner. Again, a really easy and approachable app, and it's well worth considering if you haven't yet checked it out. So the next one on our list is one called Timo. Timo with two eyes. The application is incredibly popular. Um, it's really designed and built for those with neurodivergent um, issues and also uh, with ADHD and autism. The application is incredibly focused towards that. So it does timers, uh, it does a calendar, and on web you can even drag tasks in and plan using your calendar as well. It's got a bunch of features that are designed for ADHD, autism, and neurodivergent. So again, it really tailors all of those things for you, including sounds, uh, animations, interactions, and that sort of reward element to it to help gamify your experience. So again, if you're looking for something hyper-focused towards those needs, that is an incredibly useful app. Next up is AkiFlow. Now, for those who want to be able to get something like Sansama, but with a little bit more, in my opinion, oomph in terms of how they've set it up, maybe not so much the mindfulness element of it, but want to be able to plan their tasks and their uh, the calendar in one, this is a good tool. There's a few things for ADHD I think you'll quite like. There's a feature called time slots, which allows you to drag tasks in to a block of time. So for example, today I'm recording, maybe I want to drag all the videos I need to do into that recording time slot. Again, helpful for blocking out periods of time and doesn't maybe look make your calendar look crazy with all of the things and you don't have to move it, which again is very helpful. There's a new AI chatbot called Aki as part of it. And essentially the chatbot allows you to communicate with it about what you've got on for the day. And for some people uh, with ADHD, they, they like to be able to have that self-talk to be able to reflect or be able to establish what they need to do. It helps them to ease them up uh, as they start their work. And again, could be helpful. This one is much more of a premium application. It's $19 per month. So you're looking at something a little bit more expensive here. But again, if you're willing to take that investment, there's a lot of other features like the ability to bring in tasks from other apps, uh, guided planning and more. So our final recommendation is ones uh, who will use Notion. Maybe you're using Notion now because you like to use it. ADHD it might be really stressful to use because there's dates and things flying everywhere. Well, Notion Calendar gives a little bit of structure to your ADHD approach. So what it will do is it will extract dates from a database and bring them into Notion Calendar, meaning you'll be able to then uh, see what's coming up, deadlines and important stuff like that, without the need to worry about it being in your Notion and going to find it. So again, this is more of a structured way to do it. It will also allow you to um, see your Notion documents so you don't have that mad rush before a meeting, but also the ability to block time and be able to uh, schedule meetings as well, which a lot of people don't want another app for, especially with ADHD. So hopefully those were seven options that you can go away with and find to be useful solutions for you. I'll include them all linked below if you're interested and a big thanks to Setup for sponsoring today's video. Here's a little bit more about them, but thank you for stopping by here on the channel and I'll see you in a future video, I'm sure. Cheerio for now.